Hello, welcome to Prime Force Reviews. I'm your host, Prime Force IK517. Now, this time we're going to take a look at not one but two versions of a character. And the character in question is Harley Quinn from the DC uh, yeah, Comics uh, Universe. The first one we're going to take a look at is the original Harley Quinn, which is from Batman the Anime Series 1. In Batman the Anime Series, Harley Quinn has an origin story. She was once an intern as an Arkham. When she interviewed the Joker, uh, his mind games started to, uh, to take hold, and, uh, and uh, Harley became uh, uh, a psychic to the Joker. Was like uh, Robin is a psychic for Batman. Now uh, I do not know much about the original Harley Quinn, uh, but I can tell you this much: uh, so Harley uh, was usually the one who uh, who supported the Joker when he fell down or something. And, and yeah. There was something special about the Joker that Harley saw. Therefore, for uh, even, even though the Joker abused her, she came coming back uh, for some reason. And uh, yeah, she also have a, a best friend, Poison Ivy, and and uh, uh, yeah. Super villain outfit, uh, as I say, is is uh, looks like a jester for the old medieval period or something. And uh, yeah, she uh, is is an okay super villain. And in fact, uh, Harley Quinn is one of my favorite female supervillains from from DC. And she's very popular, uh, popular enough to spawn uh, uh, her own uh, little comic series and some other stuff, I believe. You could correct me if I want. Oh, some of them. Anyway, let's go to the next incarnation of Harley Quinn. Which is the uh, yeah. DC Superhero Girls one. In that series, Harley Quinn is a teenage girl going to a superhero school. Such an memorable uh, uh, cast. Of DC comics, Wonder Woman, Frost, and Poison Ivy, and Supergirl, to name a few. And and she, and one of her main weapons is a uh, big mallet, which she also used in Batman the Animated Series as well. Harley Quinn. Uh, in that DC Superhero Girls show has to be my favorite incarnation of Harley Quinn. And although or she's not made a Joker, she's still acting uh, like uh, like uh, like like in character, uh, which is good for Harley Quinn fans. That is, and she. Is voiced by Tara Strong in DC Superhero Girls, and I don't know if Tara Strong also voiced the original Harley Quinn, but yeah. Anyway, for those of you who who don't know, where uh, Tara Strong uh, is also the same voice actress who portrayed uh, Twilight Sparkle in Friendship is Magic with My Little Pony. And yeah, Harley Quinn 
also loved to play tricks on her friends and classmates with this in character therefore in that series and much like the original her best friends are Poison Ivy and uh, let's say uh, of the only incarnation of Harley Quinn I've seen this one has to be my favorite one and I'll touch the side note again. Uh, 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 and we get the uh, we get before this recording I went to a Comic Con he didn't make and I picked up a Harley Quinn merchant door and uh, so that inspired me to make this review and check out the, the DC Superhero Girls online and I really liked it uh, and lastly but not least it is, uh, is that uh, and, uh, whenever uh, uh, a uh, media Harley Quinn appears in next I just hope that uh, that they will uh, keep her in character. Uh, this is Babe Fabricatine, aka Point Force, signing off. <laughs>